Tonight, Hillsborough County parents and teachers took their concerns about the reopening plans directly to the school district's leaders. Aiden, in your size, Justin Shecker is joining us live in Tampa tonight with that story. And Justin, I know you've been speaking with a mom who was a son with a pre-existing condition. She wanted to ask questions tonight. How is she feeling after this virtual town hall? She's still feeling conflicted tonight, Keith. Right now, the plan is for her son to start sixth grade in his new middle school. But after what she heard tonight, she really hopes the school board approves the two-week delay. He wants to meet his new teachers. He wants to um, interact with his classmates from a safe distance. Gareth Everett is a sixth grader with cystic fibrosis. Eight on your side first met him when he spoke at a school board meeting in support of the mask mandate. Get used to them. It's not something we to really worry about. Tonight, Hillsborough school leaders addressed other concerns about reopening during the pandemic. Uh, you know, we're going to be as transparent as we can. We're going to take uh, immediate action steps and be thorough in this process. The district is promising to notify parents if a student or staff member tests positive for the virus. There will also be an identified COVID-19 administrator. Who will then work with the principal to identify where the student may have been in the building and who they may have come into contact with. Superintendent Addison Davis says class size depends on the number of parents that select to send their children back into brick and mortar schools. Right now, it's about 50%. If we can reduce class size related to this below the, the state recommendations, then we will. District officials answered Annie Everett's question on school bathrooms by saying they have adequate supplies. Well, for, our, for our students, we will continue to make certain that we clean our restrooms on a, uh, on a more frequent basis. She also wanted to know what's the plan for lunch. We're going to leverage multiple, you know, every area on our campus, whether it be an outside facility, inside facility, classrooms, large areas to be able to um, provide lunch in a safe manner. Yeah. While the goal is for Gareth to be in class to start the new school year. We'll do whatever is best for our family. And you can see this school already has a no mask, no entry sign on the front door. The school board is expected to vote this week on whether to push the start date back to August 24th. If you'd like to watch that entire town hall, just go to the WFLA Facebook page. We're live tonight in Tampa. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.